The verdict is in. We don't live in a simulation. Now, while the Elon fanboys are racing to the comments, the rest of us can get on with talking about physics. Just a few weeks ago, astrophysicist Franco Vaza released this paper discussing constraints on the hypothesis that our universe is a simulation. To cut a long story short, it's essentially impossible to simulate a universe like ours. But you came for the physics, not just the result, so let me tell you how we did it. The idea is simple. How much energy does it take to simulate a region of spacetime? According to his calculations, simulating a region of space down to the Planck scale requires an amount of information, in bits, proportional to the energy contained in that region times its radius per time step. And the amount of energy required to flip a bit is proportional to the working temperature of the computer. Working the numbers, if you wanted to do a full fidelity simulation of the entire observable universe, the computations needed for a single time step would take 30 orders of magnitude more energy than is available in the entire observable universe. Okay, but what if the simulators are only simulating Earth with that level of precision and then a fake sky? Then you would only need a Jupiter-sized black hole feeding at the equivalent of the energy required to blow up 10 million galaxies for each time step. Can we make it even easier? Sure. Let's just lower the resolution down to the lowest resolution that wouldn't be detectable by state-of-the-art physics experiments, which is about 12 orders of magnitude lower than the Planck scale. Then the energy levels are, finally, workable. But even with a black hole, which is the fastest possible computer, there's a trade-off. Less energy consumption means slower speed, even if the computer could handle the enormous amount of data. In principle, the minimum energy required would be about two minutes worth of the sun's output per time step. But then, the best case scenario is that one second of time in the simulated universe would take 10 million years of compute time to simulate. On the other hand, you can speed it up to make the simulation time match the computing time, but that would mean you'd be burning an entire observable universe worth of energy every few hours, all being shoved into a black hole a nanometer across. All in all, even the most bare-bones simulation would be impossible. And this isn't a technological problem that can be solved with better engineers, but a physics problem imposed by the nature of the universe itself. But Blitz, I hear you saying, how do you know our universe is like the one doing the simulating? And to that, I answer, we don't. But the only motivation for even thinking we're in a simulation is the claim that one day, it may be possible for us to simulate a universe like our own. But this analysis shows that no, it will never be possible regardless of technological advances for us to simulate even a rudimentary Earth. So if we have no motivation to think we could ever simulate a universe, why would we think we're in one, aside from religious dogma? And no, quantum computers don't change any of the numbers here.